I'm Joey Greco, and thanks for watching this profound presentation of Cheaters. Mary Jameson is a young woman whose love for her boyfriend is no longer being reciprocated. Mary asks Cheaters to step in to uncover the secrets he's keeping. Mary Jameson, age 23, an insurance salesperson concerned that her boyfriend may have raised his premium. We we'll spent a lot of time together, and all of a sudden, that doesn't happen anymore. I call him, I would say probably about after 10 o'clock. For some reason, I don't get an answer. I ask him about it. He claims, because he stays by late, that the signal fades or is something wrong with the network, but I think that's booked. I mean, he used to pay me a lot of attention, tell me how pretty I was and how good I looked and, and different things like that, that that went on for about six to nine months and all of a sudden is he doesn't do it anymore. Um, he kind of blames it on me. He says it's my fault or he'll tell me uh, I'm tripping, that basically I'm just acting, acting a fool over nothing when I know there's more to it. And if he's over my house, the phone would ring late at night around three or four, and I would ask him who would be calling. And he would tell me, oh, that person had the wrong number or just some blame ass excuse. It pisses me off. I mean, because, like I said, I don't have time to waste. And it pisses me off that he would even try and do anything or anybody would do anything like that because it's not right. And he wouldn't want me cheating on him. And if I cheated on him, he probably couldn't handle it. Yeah, I mean, I deserve, I deserve the best. I am, I feel like. You know, I'm a good woman, and I deserve somebody that's good and that's going to treat me right. And if that can't be him, then he needs to just step aside. Marcus Street, age 27. A restaurant manager suspected of serving the food of love to another woman. Investigation day two. With their assignment set, detectives keep watch on the residence of Mary's boyfriend. Alert for any movement, investigators soon spot the suspect, Marcus Street, as he makes his way toward his vehicle. Once in the car's cockpit, Street makes waves down the road. Mobile units track his movements to an unknown apartment complex. Street stops in the middle of the parking lot and waits. Soon, the figure of an unknown female is silhouetted approaching the car. She jumps into the passenger seat and the plus-size duo depart. They're on the road for quite a while before they turn down a residential street and come to rest at an unknown house. The couple enter and stay for the better part of two hours. Upon exiting their hideaway, they trek back to the companion's apartment where they share a kiss before calling it a night. Investigation Day 5. Detectives on watch calmly wait for any sign of the suspect. Shortly after dark, Street emerges from his house, dressed for his shift at a fast food taco restaurant. He hops into his car and is off. He follows a familiar path to the apartment complex from previous surveillance. Waiting by the curb is the curvy female whose identity remains withheld. They kiss hello and surprise detectives by switching seat assignments. With his companion behind the wheel, Street relaxes in the passenger seat and is driven to his place of employment. He says a quick goodbye to his traveling companion and heads into work. His accomplice in deception drives his car away. Investigation Day 10. Cheater's operatives again set up shop outside Street's humble abode. They get a peek at the suspect as he leaves his home and enters his car. This smooth operator heaps a mountain of lies on his trusting girlfriend, Mary, in this recorded phone call. Hello. 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 Hello.
With enough evidence of the suspect's covert conduct, detectives prepare to make the call to Mary. Coming up, the confrontation. With more than enough evidence proving Marcus's guilt, Cheaters prepares his file for Mary's review. Eager for her heartache to end, Mary joins with Cheaters to view the unpleasant revelation. Mary, thanks for being with us tonight. I know you contacted the show because you had some questions about what was happening in your relationship with Marcus. Yes. Correct. We're a little pressed for time right now. I'm just going to get right into the information that our detectives have. Okay. Are you ready to see it? Yes. Mary, as our investigation began, our detectives were outside of Marcus's apartment. He leaves, gets in his car, and was followed to another apartment complex. Once there, he picks up a young lady. The two of them get into his car. They go to a third location, which was another residence, which is where they stayed for a large portion of the evening. After some time, they exit. He brings this young lady back to her apartment. There's a brief kiss. She gets out, goes inside, and he returns home. Now on this evening, we were again outside of his place. He was there when Marcus arrived, gets out of his car, goes inside. A short time later, he emerges and was followed until he once again returned to the same young lady's apartment complex. On this evening, he parked his car, went inside, and remained there for the rest of the evening. The son of a bitch. We've been able to confirm that he's been letting this young lady use his car. She's been driving I don't even off. drive his car. Well, she's been dropping him off at work and then picks him back up later in the evening when his shift is through. I'm going to call Gomez right now and see if he can give me an update on where they are and what's been taking place tonight. Okay? Okay. Gomez, what's happening? Okay. They're at the theater? Well, we're on our way right there. There it is right there. Okay, we see it. We're on our way there now. Everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. Go, 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 Come here, stay right here. You gotta let all the guys get out. Hang on. I know, we're just moving so they can get out. Next, the conclusion. They're at the theater. We're on our way there now. Oh, is this him? Oh, hell no, Marcus. What the f is this? What are you doing? What the f is this? What are you doing? What, uh, what the f? You don't even go to the f movies. What the f is this? What are you doing here? Who the f is this? Who the f are you? Who the f you? Who the f is this? How the f you saw you choose to hug me? No, you What the f is this? I've been with the. Where are you coming from? This for, the, for a minute. I'll so, so a, a year, a year, you I've gonna throw a year down the hey, drain we've over this? I've been with him for two years. Two years what the? Man, you came up there to the job, and we did what we needed to do. And you just feeding too much into it right now. That's all that is. Yeah. Okay, but we've been together for a year. You said you love me. You want to be with me. So what the? I love her. That's who. That's who I've been with. I was with her before I was even with you. She's the other woman. Yeah. Then I think. Then I think you probably have an issue I mean, with him. Yeah, obviously well, we do. No, that's not your none of y'all. Yeah, you got me. Yeah. What the yeah. is this? You're not going. No. You're not going to me. Man, that. Hell no. Chill out. 
Chill out, man. Man, hell out. out. You got me up. Chill out. Y'all need to chill out, bro. No. Chill out. Tell that bitch it's over. It's not, though. Yeah, it is over. I told her that it was over. I'm telling it's over. If it was over, then it all You shut the up. Ain't nobody talking to you. That's my man. Hey man, let's go. <laughs> let's Hell no. Nah. That's ridiculous, though. You said, why the f you lie? Why you didn't anybody lie? A f you're? You're? You're feeding too much into that. A f you're? And you choose this bitch over me? He says because I'm better than you. Who the f is this bitch? You ain't. My job, man. Bitch, you ain't. Come on, man. Do something. Y'all chill out, man. Y'all chill out, man. You just made me. Man, you need to check this out. Man, no. Tell that hoe shut the and leave me the alone. I'm gonna have to call the cops. Man, you got me on my ill the police. I ill the police. What? Bitch, you want some too? Huh? You want to f me? What? Got me up. In this bitch. You ill the police. You punk ass bitch. Come on, man, with the bull. You up. Man, chill out. No, man. chill out. You weren't saying that past your bitch. Yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> I okay, wasn't. exactly. So what I the f you talking about? Because, like I said, you Okay, tell me why. You feel you Tell me why. Too much, I mean, man. obviously, tell me why. Ain't nobody talking to you. I mean, obviously, ain't nobody talking to you. What don't you understand? Come on, man. Y'all tripping, man. Huh? Y'all tripping, man. Y'all tripping, man. Y'all tripping, man. Y'all tripping, man. Y'all tripping, Ass. 